Hi there, this P4 math question that we are going to solve today is a P4 math word problem on whole numbers. This is a demo of one of the many math explanation videos that you can find on Pratica. Pratica is a fun math practice website that helps primary school children learn Singapore math easily. So back to this math question that we are going to solve. This question happens to be taken from the P4 math essay 2 exam paper from Nanyang. At one glance, it seems that this math question only has whole numbers in it. We'll probably be able to solve the answer by doing some model drawing. So let's start reading the question. I need all of you to imagine the situation and think about how we can make use of what we are given to find the answer to this question. Alright? Rosemary had only blue beads at first. It looks like we have one person. Correct? Rosemary. And she's holding on to some blue beads. She has 1,548 blue beads. Great. Now we know the number of beads that she has as well. So let's draw the model for this math question, okay? Do you know how to start drawing the model? We'll start by drawing a rectangular box, and this box represents all the blue beads that Rosemary has. Now since we are given the number of blue beads that she had, we'll write that down in the box, alright? So here's 1548. What else are we given? She gave 282 blue beads to her sister. Hmm, these 282 blue beads refers to a part of the blue beads that Rosemary had, correct? So what does giving her blue beads to her sister mean? Rosemary will have fewer blue beads now, right? So we are going to draw a rectangular box in white to represent the number of blue beads that Rosemary gave away and put 282 in it. Do you know how to find the number of blue beads that Rosemary had left after she gave some of her beads to her sister? We take the total number of blue beads that Rosemary had at first, 1,548, minus the number of beads that she gave her sister. So 1,548, minus 282 gives us 1,266. Now let's see what happens next, alright? After she bought 4 boxes of red beads, she had 3,726 beads altogether. So can you guess what we are going to draw in the model? If you said 4 boxes, you are right. We are going to draw 4 boxes of equal size to the model that we have now. So these 4 boxes represent the 4 boxes of red beads that Rosemary bought. Then what about the number 3726? Where do you think we should write that? I hope you sit here. Okay? So since 3726 represents the total number of red and blue beads that Rosemary had in the end, this means that everything that we see here must add up to give us 3726. Following so far? Finally, we are given that there was an equal number of red beads in each box. We don't really need to do anything for this sentence since the four boxes that we have drawn are already of the same size, okay? Now let's take a look at what we need to find to solve the question. How many red beads were there in each box? Looking at our model, which part of the model represents the number of red beads in each box? It's any one of these parts here, correct? Now let's take a look at our model and see what we can tell from it. We know that 1,266 beads and these four units add up to give us a total of 3,726 beads. Do you know how to find how many beads one unit stands for? To do that, we need to work backwards step by step. Alright? So first of all, we'll subtract the part that we know, 1266, from everything that we have. So 3726 minus 1266 gives us 2460. Do you know what this is? 2460 refers to the number of red beads that are in the four boxes. Since we know that four units stands for 2460, how can we find the number of red beads that one unit stands for? We divide 2,460 by 4. Agree? And doing that gives us 615 red beads. Now that we know one unit represents 615 beads, and one unit represents one box, what's our answer? Our answer must be, there are 615 red beads in each box. And that's how we solve this P4 math word problem on whole numbers. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Before we go, don't forget to try out the P4 math questions in practical to make sure that you have mastered all these skills and more. Till next time, happy problem solving!